Get started at the front of your trailer. Uh, you have two uh, 20 gallon tanks. Uh, and at the moment I have them both opened. But if you look inside, you will see that there is a lever right where my hand is where you can switch from one tank to the other. But I opened them up both for now, so I use that for your testing and to show you with the operation of your trailer. Uh, your propane is used for several things in your trailer. It'll be used for your heat. It'll be used for your refrigerator uh, when you are not plugged in to electric. Uh, it will be used for your uh, your stove uh, and uh, the biggest consumer of the propane is heat so if you're out and you're not using the heat you should be fine for you know lots of time to where before you'd have to refill them all right also on the front of your trailer you have a power jack which of course at this point is not down to the ground you're basically all set up except for plug-in to take off because your blue ox is all in your brake control is all in and you're ready to go all right now i'm going to come this is lockable storage for the battery so nobody can get in it. This is your water heater. Your water heater works on either electric or uh, propane. Uh, inside the trailer at your command center, which is right inside the door, there is a switch that will let you either put it on for electric or put it on for gas. For the purpose of our demonstration today, uh, Nikki's going to stay back here, who is our, Nikki's our videographer. And I'm going to go inside and turn this on so you can see and hear the heater go on so you know it's operational. So just give me one minute and we'll do that for you and come back and continue along the side of the trailer. Okay, number three in this line, this is what we call a black tank flush. Let's say for argument's sake your black tank is getting jammed up, or you just want to rinse it and clean it. You hook a hose, which would be an auxiliary hose. You don't use your water hose that you're using down here. You hook it up, let it go, open up the black tank, pulley, and let it go, and it'll clean out your black tank. All right, along here is your fuel tank. That's where you f put your, t your gasoline. And of course, it does tell you unleaded only. And down here is your fuel dispenser. And that locks up so people can't get to it. Alrighty. Now, your ramp and back door, <coughs> is a two-person operation. And I'm just going to show you this, I don't going to put it down today, but you get one person on each side, and all you do is lift that up and release the uh, the handle and then turn it out and then bring the door down and they are locked so no one can get in it this is a vent not anything you need to do with it but it's a vent you've got two 110 plugs on the outside here And now while we're out here, I'm going to show you the awning opening up. 
before we finish up inside. Your awning control is up on your control panel. And there's those nice pretty awning lights. Okay, we'll close that up. Okay, come on in, Nikki. We'll finish up inside now. Now, here's your bedroom area. You've got plug here, lights over the bed that just put on with the little push the button, and you have the light for above right here. In your bathroom, you have a fan that is powered by the switch here on the side. And you have a light to the center that's powered as well. Um, your toilet works with a little push. Try not to use too much water, guys, because if you're out for the weekend, you want to make sure you have enough water. Your GFI switch is right here. Okay, we'll move out of here and we're going to go to the refrigerator. As I think I've told you, your refrigerator is gas and electric. When you're plugged in, it's going to run on electric. When you are not plugged in, it's going to go automatically to gas. So when you turn it on, mode you'll see right here is electric that's the cooling and then all you want to do when you want to change it is if you unplug that it's going to go to gas automatically all right and uh, I've had this on for a little bit and yeah it's got some cold okay now coming across here we're going to look at the thermostat your thermostat is just like your home. You power it, you just touch it, goes to auto, and now I'm on air. And in a minute, you're going to hear the air conditioner, which is in the ceiling, go on. There it is. So your air is on. And if you wanted heat, we're going to go back, shut it off. And then you would just go past, I'm not going to turn it on because it's too hot today, but you go past the auto, past there, and there we go. There's your heat. So we're going to shut that off. This is your temperature gauge up and down. Don't ever touch those together because if you do, all you're going to do is change it from Fahrenheit to centigrade, and you're going to be, what did I do now? All right. Over here, you have a light above your stove. Your stove lights with a little lighter. Your microwave. It's a convection microwave. You can see when you, you know that it's working when you have lit numerals. Down below on that side is your uh, gas detector. Over here is your uh, fuse box, fuses and circuit breakers. I highly recommend that you carry, that I highly recommend that you carry a few extra fuses. Uh, I'm going to turn your water pump on. So you can see that this is going to work. Remember with the water pump, you don't want to leave it on unless you're using the water. So you got to get into the habit. When you need water, you turn on the water pump. When you don't, you got to shut it off because it works on the battery. And you'll be draining the battery down unnecessarily. Okay, now, I know that 
Mr. Boog, for your demo, I'm going to have Matt, who's one of our technicians, show you how to operate the, um, uh, the beds and the seats. And then after that, I'll take over and do the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the show for you. I've already sent you a, um, a video on how to dismantle and put together the, um, um, the blue ox for the front of your trailer. And you're all hooked up at this point. So this is Matt, and he'll take care of the beds for us. Hi, I'm Matt. Uh, we're going to be looking at the, this bed system, which is also your dinette chairs for this unit. If I can get this magnet to sit. So also, to get this out of the way, if you need headroom for uh, utility or something like that, you can take out these pins, lift up, pull slightly out, and you can bring this whole bed down. I don't re recommend using this way in transit with having these beds all the way up like this. You can lower this bed system until this part here touches the ground. You just give it a slight touch and that will be good so it's not swinging in and out during transit while having a quad or a golf cart in this area. To put it back up, simply lift up the whole assembly and push it in and make sure that these bars here are in the saddle before releasing it down. Now for safety reasons, we have cotter pins which go in, so while in transit and use, these do not fall down on you. And you must have these both in locking for safety. Now that is the same exact thing on the opposite side, same procedure. These bars here are for when you are using the bed system. You'd have both of these to the down position like so. You bring the bed down until these feet touch. This foot's a little up high, that's all right. That's for if this starts to bend and flex while using it in the bed position. Has these little push pins here that you push and then you can lock them in the upright position. This one here, I'm gonna leave down. I'm gonna do the same for the opposite side. Leave this one up since the next uh, way for this bed system is I'm gonna show you how to set this up for dinette. Uh, over here you also have your windows behind these these are your window covers so people can't see what you're carrying to lower this bed you have your switch up here in your main control panel it's called the bed lift control also you must have your cargo master bed switch on it will be illuminated red that gives power to your bed lift control then i'm going to push the down button the down the bed's going to go down. I'm going to bring it until those two black pieces touch the floor. It's a fun, safe speed that this bed goes down. So I hope you're not in a hurry to go anywhere. Now I can see that the feet have touched the ground on both sides. You can see on this rail system there is this little handle. When it's pushed in, that locks this so this can't lift up. So make sure you unlock it before forcefully lifting the back rest up. After doing that, you just lift up until it rotates. These also come with cup holders inside each of the couches. You have your standalone bed, which is up underneath this mattress at the moment for storage, which we would bring down first. Well, I'm just trying to do this demo a little bit more economically friendly for me as well. So I'm going to put these back to the bed position because I'm going to bring down this whole bed system next. To bring back down this whole bed system, if you forget everything I tell you today, we have the description here on this rail to show you how to 
unlock the bed from the top. So you'll see these little levers at the end here. You flip them to the over position where they will be inside this rail versus outside. So you have four corners. that we're going to do. And this one I have to change over. And the last one. Now that I've done so, I'm going to go ahead and push it up on the bed lift control button at your main control panel. And the waiting procedure goes again. It'll be great to have a little book to read while it's going up. Now normally when you're raising this bed, it's normally to either A, grab what are other items that you have put underneath the cushion of the bed, and or if you're getting ready to make it into the bunk combination. You'll hear an audible click in locking and unlocking the bed from the rail system. Make sure it's all the way up until the motor stops. After doing so, it will stay on top of that bed system and you can just make it a good habit to make sure you have all these legs down since you'll be most likely making this into a bunk now the top bed will stop a little higher than halfway up and stay in place and then the lower chair dinette combination will go all the way down until the feet rest on the floor again. Now that they have rested on the floor, that is it all insecure. You have your bed up top here. Underneath your bed, you have your dinette table which is just a standard folding table so now that we have lowered this all the way down I have already flipped these back out from the unlock position to the lock position when they are out I have made sure that there's no child no person or uh, fragile items on top of this bed. Uh, make sure you don't move this bed lift with people on it. Then you just go ahead, push the up button, and this will track all the way up. Once it reaches the top, it will lock back into place with an audio, audible click. And for whatever reason, if there's ever a real electrical mechanical problem, the motor for it is right up top in the left hand corner towards the rear of the coach by the lift gate. Now we heard both sides click in place. I like to relieve a little tension off of that. And then we can go ahead and push these supports back up and lock them in place. Me, I'm a little bit tall, so keep in mind to give a good duck because you can scratch your head pretty easily on these. And that is all for that. And Harris will continue with your demo. Matt had been through the entire back end of this with you. So basically, I'm going to go and finish up by showing you your uh, command center. So the command center has starts up top with a fuel gauge, okay? Then you have your awning in and out. And this is the 
monitor that shows you the tank levels and your water pump, your water heater LP, water heater electric. And these are for your lights, ramp lights outside, that's the master, the power for the bed. And this is the lift control for the bed. All right. Now we're going to just shut off a couple of lights. Oh, and by the way, your books are all right here. We're going to shut this off. Close her up. And as I now understand, you are over there with Eric or with Brian. And I'll come over right away to meet you. Thank you so much.